Welcome back everyone, I am Brian, you are Chords and Notes Nation, you have been invited into my living room to please have a seat. Uh, we are going to watch this together, what is this? This is something new for my channel, this is called Red, or I'm sorry, this is called Wanna Be Loved, it's the official video for the band called The Red Clay Strays. First time on this channel, haven't heard them, but we are today, so thanks for joining me on that. Uh, you can find this video on Red Clay Stray's YouTube channel. This was put out four months ago at the time of this recording. Uh, 1.9 million views. So there's something. They are out there and people are watching them. So very cool. And I'm glad that you're here with me. Please check out the description box below for ways to follow me outside of the channel. You can see me on all my social media sites that I have and see what I'm doing there, which is oftentimes much more than just reaction videos. Um, okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. I have my coffee. I don't know if you need anything. Uh, but here we go. He drank a lot. <laughs> All right, here we go.
Okay, we'll leave it there. Yeah, beginning and ending with the child. And uh, I, who was abandoned. And, and living in his own little space there. First of all, his voice is very interesting. How he sings, his style of singing. Uh, and it's very good. And the music was, was very straightforward, well done, um, very good, very good all around. I, I really appreciated it. I felt like there was a little bit of um, 50s in there, at least with the look. And, uh, and definitely, it felt like there was a little bit of country. You know, maybe it, maybe it harkens back to the old country music, not the modern day country music. But I think the message is what grabs me the most. Well, I know it is. Because it's it's a ubiquitous message. We all want to be loved. We were we were created to to be loved and to love. And how ironic it is that many, many, many of us uh don't have the kind of love that we're looking for. You know? And, and I'm talking about the interpersonal relationships, most definitely. I think, um, you know, we, we suffer through certain things in life, and, um, and people, people will hurt us, people will, uh, will use us. Um, oftentimes, things, there's a lot of misunderstanding. It's, it's a learning and a growing process. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and oftentimes we do that to other people as well. Sometimes purpose, pur purposely, sometimes accidentally. Um, and a lot of that, what I've learned in life, it comes down to, are your needs being met? Your emotional, mental, physical needs being met, financial needs, all, all of that. And when, when two people are at odds on that, when this person doesn't feel their needs are being met and that person feels their needs aren't being met, oftentimes times they turn on each other if they cannot uh, bridge that divide. Does that make sense? I mean, it's we've all been through it. Now, that can be in marriages, that can be in romantic relationships, that can be in friendships, that can be in work relationships, you know. Um, just about every single kind of relationship. If if needs aren't being met on either side, there's gonna be um, there's gonna be tension. But at the end of it, it's love that we we want. It's we're hardwired for it. We search for it. Um, my experience, the only true true love that we will ever have is from God Almighty. Uh, John 3.16. But it's not just that Jesus gave himself for us. That's the greatest love there is. Um, and if, if we follow him and turn from, from our separation from him and follow him, you know, so much more is in store for us. But it's, it's that idea that something greater than yourself, that's what love is, is something greater than yourself. And as we're on this earth, we're, we're, we're trying to find and discover that, and hopefully our hearts and minds are receptive to it. At the end of it, we all just want to be loved. So there you have it. I like this. I will react to more of them. I think they're awesome. God bless you. Jesus loves you. And I will talk to you later.